All right, who else wants to cavell? Come on, let's get a few more cavells. Uh, Chase Chat Chase... Chase Chat said they had something to uh, to cavell about. Let me see if I can unmute them. Hmm. Sorry, Chase, I'm having trouble unmuting you here. Chase Reynolds. That's Chase Chat. No, but it, it, look, look in the chat. It says unmute. Let's, Chase we'll try Reynolds. Chase Reynolds. Chase Reynolds, are you also Chase Chat? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I can't chat, and my phone is the camera, so that's why I have two. Football. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm cavelling because uh, so I'm just like happy at like the past couple of days I've wrote like three songs, and I went through like a five year period where I didn't write anything, and so it, oh. just like the past year I've just been like on a tear, just like writing a ton of songs that feels good and that's you know i gotta say like sometimes i don't think any of us this is, i don't know if this is going to sound like too serious or not but i don't think any of us nobody wishes no one's glad there's a pandemic but it's like there's been so many opportunities that i've had where it's like well if the pandemic never happened then this positive thing wouldn't have happened and maybe you know and it's one of those how do you make the how do you make light and out of something so shitty as this and any moment we can gleam onto where it's like, well, that may not have happened if not for the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Where maybe you don't appreciate the, I mean, that's starting to sound corny, but I've certainly had a lot of really cool moments that I've had to at least acknowledge. Well, those wouldn't have happened if not for all this shit that's happening. Not that I wish it were happening, but it at least made me glom onto that. I don't I didn't need to go on that tangent. I got, you know, you, I'm, I'm saying, but maybe that's like, it took all that shit to here you are in this moment where you're appreciating yeah. these songs you wrote. Yeah, totally. Yeah, because I mean, I have the time now to do it. So yeah, it's been great. Well, that's even what I was thinking about when Sean was talking where it's just, you know, again, none of us wish this were happening, but it's forced us to sort of look at things in a way and not everybody has the luxury of saying, well, I, you know, I can take advantage of this downtime, but if you start to think of those ways and making it work, <laughs> I like how it's getting serious at the end of Hognica. Uh, but yeah, that's how I feel. I'm just, I'm glad to hear people starting to <laughs> go full bore into cavelling in the name of and not making it sticky. Yeah, that's beautiful. I gotta say, you know, at the when you come to the end of a sandwich, it is a moment of reflection. But it absolutely. Has been just eaten. Yeah, and also, and listen, and you can go, you can learn from sandwich to sandwich. Maybe one sandwich you eat and you're like, you plow through it and you realize you didn't savor that last bite football, yeah. like you were saying. And maybe the next sandwich you have, you're like, I'm going to slow this one down a little bit. I'm going to yeah. really savor each bite. I'm going to think about, oh, the crust on this one. Ooh, I noticed, I didn't notice that flavor before. Oh, that's a nice little combo right there. And then you get to the, that last bite and you're like, all right, here we go. Will I ever have this sandwich again? I don't know. Maybe not from my choosing. You know what I'm saying? I love it, football. Yeah, you, you don't put your hand, your hand in the same river ever. and You never eat the same sandwich. Again. It's never the same sandwich. You could order the number 24 from City Subs every day for the rest of your life you'll never have the same sandwich right never not once i, I, I hope chase writes a song about that i will I'm going to you right now i hope ira's got his keyboard at the ready right now <laughs> 